sheet pan teriyaki chicken and veggies that you are going to love. Perfect for a weeknight, but I think special enough to feel like you can really show up at a beautiful dinner table with this for a bunch of family and friends and it's just delicious and I think you're going to love it. We are going to start off right away by making our homemade teriyaki sauce. I always make a homemade version. It's very, very, very easy. All you need in a saucepan, you need some soy sauce. To that, you're going to add brown sugar. To that, you're going to add rice vinegar, a couple of dashes of sesame oil, a couple of teaspoons of that. Then you need a little bit of ginger and some garlic. I like to buy one of these squeezy things for ginger. It makes it last a long time. And then I'm gonna take one big fat clove of garlic. If, you, if yours is not this big and it's a normal size, you might just wanna use two. And I'm gonna grate this right in. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this on my stove and get this bubbling. I just want that brown sugar to dissolve and for the sauce to come to a bubble and then we're gonna thicken that and to thicken that all you need is a cornstarch slurry which you already know is just water and cornstarch in the meantime in the meantime while that comes to a boil and does everything get your veggies prepped i've got broccoli i've got some colorful bell peppers you could do some snap peas in here as well a can of baby corn would be a great addition to this i love to use broccolini with this I'm gonna tell you what, they were $4 a bundle. And let me tell you how big the bundle was, this big. It had like four florets in there. And I don't know about you, but that's just not in my budget. So I went to its cousin, the broccoli, which $5 for like a big old bag, that fits more in my budget. But if broccolini is at a good price anywhere near you, you'll need about three little bunches, um, three little bunches of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a red onion. I'm using red onion. You could also just use a yellow onion. It doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna cut this into wedges. I'm gonna show you what I mean. I don't want anything too small because I don't want anything to turn into mush. I want it to all have good texture and look really nice. And it looks a little something like this. This is what I like. Now in terms of chicken, I always tell you use whatever uh, is at a good price. And for us this week, chicken breasts were at a good price, but I've done this with chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, and it's amazing. I've also done it bone-in skin on chicken thigh. You just need to let it cook a little bit longer. Um, also delicious. But chicken breasts, in order to make sure that they're not going to overcook, is you wanna make sure you don't cut them too thin. So you're looking for the chicken breast to be about a half of an inch in thickness, sort of between a, a quarter and a half an inch thickness. If it's too thin, it's gonna dry out into the oven and then you're gonna get mad at me. And I don't want anybody to be mad at me. But if you were using chicken thighs, those are really hard to overcook. The longer they go in the oven, the better they'll, they'll be. But we wanna get this on the table in about 40 minutes. So for me, a half an inch or so of a chicken breast. And what I've done, if you can see, I've sort of scored the top of the chicken breast a little bit, not all the way through, just slightly. This just allows for that teriyaki sauce to really get into all of the crevices and nooks of the chicken breast, giving it not only great flavor, but also keeping it nice and juicy. All I'm gonna do right now is wait for this to bubble for just a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to add this cornstarch slurry. And it's just gonna take about a minute or so after that because the cornstarch is gonna thicken up the sauce really nicely. And then I'll just let the sauce cool just a bit. Well, it's a bit of black pepper. <laughs> just a bit before we go to turn it off and use it. Oh, that already smells good. Mm. Add your veggies to your sheet pan. Just try to separate that onion as best as you can. I did, I do have a can of baby corn. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to this like five minutes before I pull this out of the oven so that um, they don't overcook. I wanna just add a small little drizzle of olive oil to the veggies just so that they grab some really nice color. I'm not gonna hit them with any salt just because we are gonna add some of our glaze. Now this is still quite hot, so as it cools, it will thin out a bit. And I have more glaze in my little saucepan because when this whole thing comes out of the oven, 
I am just going to brush it on so that when you serve it, it's making my mouth water, <laughs> when you serve it, it's saucy, it's delicious, it's full of flavor, and you will just love it. I'm just making a little bit of room in the center for my chicken. These are three really good sized chicken breasts. Um, I said you each one can probably have a half, I mean they're huge, or at least like nine or 10 ounces a piece. I'd say you could feed six people if you cut each one in half. And if I'm saying that, you know, that's gotta mean, that's gotta mean something. I actually wanna flip them over really quickly because I wanna season the underside with some of that sauce. So drizzle a little on the underside. Like I said, it does not need any salt, trust me. The soy is quite salty. And even though we balanced it with some uh, brown sugar, it's still quite saucy. Look how gorgeous that is. And it's just so lovely and easy. And you see that sauce is just gonna go all in those little nooks and crannies. And I'm just gonna pop this into the oven. This will take about 30 minutes. And then in the last five minutes, I'm gonna put the baby corn on here and I'm gonna pop this, the, the broiler on just to caramelize the very top. It's just gonna take like two minutes, so do not walk away. In the meantime, get some rice cooking, um, get everything ready so that you can put this whole thing on the table in no time. And you already know, it just looks abundant and exciting and it'll be great if you're hosting a gathering. It's fantastic. So in it goes, about 30 minutes at 425. Look at how stunning that looks. I'm just grabbing, uh, I'm grabbing some. Remember, half hour, the last few minutes, put in my baby corn under the broiler. That literally took, I don't know, maybe a minute under the broiler. When it comes out, you're gonna take your leftover. Oh yeah. Let me go grab some sesame seeds and some scallions because it really, it calls for it. I'm just gonna actually skip the sesame seeds for now just because I brought them upstairs and I don't feel like going back up. But look at how gorgeous. It's saucy and delicious. Those veggies, you see the broccoli has chard, which is so, it's making my mouth absolutely water. Look at that. How, you will love this. You will absolutely love this. And like I said, you've got a bunch of people to serve and you wanna make something easy and delicious, you make this. A nice big pot of rice to go with it. You've got your veggies, you've got your protein, you got loads of flavor. Pretend this has sesame seeds and scallions all over it. My mouth is watering. The chicken cuts like butter. You can see because the sauce is on it, but I want you to see how bouncy it is because we don't do any dry chicken around here. Look at that. Mmm. Perfect. Mm. That is perfection. This meal is veg. Oh yeah. All day. Every day. Such a yes. Easy, delicious, very nice on the wallet as well. Use whatever you find on sale. Go to lauraindikitchen.com for the written recipe. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.